What's up, everybody? Welcome to my live stream. Live stream every Friday, 8 p.m. Today, I'm going to be focusing on how to design clothes without any money. It's always been like a topic of, you know, I'm I'm kind of in my teenage years. I want to get in designing or, you know, I, I have a full time job. I got bills to pay. So that's kind of like the big discussion of today. While I am talking about that, I am definitely going to be just designing. So designing myself, I have my little program here to uh, create designs on and I'm going to try to get as much comments and stuff out of the way so thank you for uh, if you're coming in from the youtube channel i live stream again every friday so this is live right now and we're gonna get to it so what's up rel reg what relj what's up what's up hello what's going on it's been a crazy week but we back what's up carlos how are you doing so i'm gonna start designing actually i just want to get some work done so let's actually can i hello is my chat is it not gonna work i don't think it's gonna work i think it needs to be a certain height and whatnot oh there we go that's how we do it yeah let me fix this so it's the right size there we go so i i don't know with with like my type of designs i i use a certain font and then i kind of play around with fonts but I want to start making money making shirts but don't have any money yeah i mean the best thing you can do especially if you're just trying to start is just pen and paper if you don't have paper like i, I don't know <laughs> you, you can start drawing on uh, get some chalk draw on the the sidewalk uh, you gotta you gotta start small and i think that a lot of people think they need to automatically get heat press automatically need to get this that you know, it goes, it goes, it goes on and on. Don't know how you last this long, but with designing, I feel like you, you can do it without any money. Now to actually get your production in play, that's when you do need some sort of revenue. But right now, I mean, if you're really just worried about designing and whatnot, don't, don't worry about the money. You know what I'm saying? You're my idol. That is that is for inspire me i could be fashion i could be the fashion designer without you okay <laughs> you're you're very welcome uh, nikki acosta says hello from az we need to go to az you know we need to go to az and by the way i have my lovely girlfriend here to be my assistant so when i go off on a tangent or if i'm just like in the zone with designing she'll pretty much just kind of relay the messages to me um, what's up, Khaled? How you doing? Shady McCoy, what's going on? Oscar, what is good? What what is good? <laughs> uh, have a cricket. Yeah, have the cricket in the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna get designing right now. Um, thanks, man. I have. <laughs> hey, AK, what's going on? I'm just gonna say, hey, what's up, everybody, and then start going at it. You don't need money to start. I agree. My first online with you. Yeah, they, welcome, welcome so i'm just gonna start messing around with some fonts i think that man no 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 we're gonna get to do that paid ish <laughs> let's see let's look at the fonts like what would look really sick as a t-shirt design and i want i want something to create like to put something on the sleeve and i want to do a heat press of it so let me see i got some christmas i might need to jump into like the different fonts this is what i usually do when I don't have like time or if, if I just don't have vinyl, like I don't have money to buy vinyl, I just design. Like the thing is what, when people think about design, they think that it automatically means you go from A to Z. No, you, you go to A to however far you get. If you, if you, if you are cut back by money, just keep designing. It doesn't need to go beyond that. I think it should just be whatever you can physically do. There will always be time. There's always going to be money to come and play, and for you to play with. Once you, once you got everything settled. What's good? What's going on, Art? What's good? What's good, Tev? How you doing? What type of design? 
I uh, just started watching your videos. Thanks for dropping by. You can download free fonts online. Google free font download. What are you trying to design? I, how come you never bought commercial sewing machines? I've actually bought an industrial one before. It's just too big and bulky and I don't have that much space. And I mean, once I have my own place, maybe I'll buy one. I don't know. It really depends. It really depends on how much space I have. If I can, if I can just downsize to a good machine, why, what's the whole like, why, why is there a need for anything else? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a good machine, you don't need an industrial. Unless you're going to be producing 50 shirts in a day, then you need an industrial. What's that application? It's the Cricut machine or the Cricut design.cricut.com. It's so you can design, um, what is this called? Vectors. There's vectors. So I'm just trying to find a font that I, that really catches my eye. Sometimes I just go really basic and I just work with the design itself. And one thing that was really like inspiring me recently is kind of like making a, I don't know how to explain it. You know, that board that opticians use or doc well yeah opticians use and it's kind of like the a z l f u and then you it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller like i want to make a design with that so let's see so uh, the thing that you look at for like eye exams yeah this, you have to read them so like it would just be like cad i don't know i don't know how i feel about that is it locked yeah it's locked so let's actually move this down. This is how I mess around with my designs. I literally, I go into like, you don't even need Photoshop. You can go on Canva. Let me show you guys Canva real quick. Canva. Like Canva is like, that's it, man. Like Canva is like another way if you need to do designs. Yeah, don't mind the thumbnails, man. It's just stuff I was making. But Canva, <laughs> if you need like a Photoshop-esque program like this is perfect like this is perfect if you've never if you don't have photoshop if you don't have like a good designer thing this is something that i use like let me show you guys this is like really like spot on really dope let me let me just go in here this is canva.com um you can like you can make your own like you can customize this if you really wanted to i don't i don't really want to get into this i really just want to get into finishing my design uh, what's up everybody what's up what's up yeah i know about the free fonts um i don't really like messing around with that just because like they can sue you if you get really really big so i just kind of keep it really simple i test board yes yeah, i exam chart that exactly exactly i'm working on getting a sewing machine so i can make clothes for my family and myself yeah <laughs> it's it's you you get to that point you you get to that point when when life gives it to you you know you should use a plain aerial for that type of thing yeah like what i what i what i usually do this is what i usually do or for like cad style which is like this i usually use like aerial like the supreme font you know you guys already know what that looks like so Arial, it was like Arial blue, I don't know if it's black, here we go. I think it was like this. Why does it look funky like that? Hold on. Gotta, gotta keep it in motion here. Where's the, why does it look funky like that? I don't like how that looks. <laughs> Let me just delete this all together and just do it, redo it. Style. Because what, if you guys are trying to make like a literally, like literally a supreme knockoff, I'm going to show you guys how easy that is. So, you, okay, maybe not, not that close. But you just basically do this, and then you, no, 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 let's fix this. So if I were to make like something crazy, like, <laughs> this is, this is such a, like a joke that I, I always do. When I make, I actually have a t-shirt that has this design. It literally says, how come I can't customize? There we go. So if you really want to like, like make Supreme, <laughs> you just got to fix it a little bit. Make the spacing a little closer. 
print it, and then you got Supreme. <laughs> but I know there's a little bit more to it. I know that Supreme like kind of messes with the font a little bit. But Arial Black and the Bla Bold Italic, you pretty much have Supreme. You 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 send this to your Cricut, you print onto your T-shirt, and now you have you pretty much have Supreme. <laughs> It's cool how you create different things. I try. What are you using to share your screen? I am using I'm using OBS, which is a free program that YouTube suggested. So shout outs to YouTube and OBS, not sponsored. Thanks now I'm gonna Thanks now I am a human and pet designer. I sent my designs in New York. That's crazy. Wow. Tyrone, what's going on? How you doing? No, we're not trying to make some Supreme knockoffs right now. I know you probably just was like, what? Why is there Supreme on the screen? But I really want to do like cat style. And make it like like an eye exam design. I'm just trying to figure out like I need to get some inspiration. So let's look up eye exam board image. Let's just go that way. So I want to duplicate this, but make it in a way that it looks dope. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna close this. I don't know why this has been open. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. And usually I, I spend so much time like fig figuring out what type of font I want that I, it kind of takes, this looks like, this looks like standard Arial. Ari, is Arial? Arial, is that how you say it? Arial? Arial. Mm. Arial. So let's, let's actually make this regular. This is interesting. I'm just going to look at a couple samples, like how it looks. That's how um, the font looks like usually. Oh, it's like a... I've seen this font before, and it's like really interesting. What's up, Shampoo? What is going on? Are you using the design to put it on something? Yeah, I got a, I got my Cricut in the back. What, type, what kind of heat press do you use? I just bought... It's just like a standard heat press you can yeah. you can get on Amazon. I don't. I mean, if you want me to go ahead and link that for you, I can. Just trying to figure out. I feel like CAD should be the biggest part of it. Like it should be like, but it should be spaced out a lot. What kind of heat press? I I don't know the specific name. You can literally go on Amazon and look up heat press. Now I would be careful if you do that. So I'm gonna try to make this as big as possible without make it really bad. There we go. So I feel like CAD, you have to do each line separately, then resize each line individually and attach them before you cut them. What? You have to do each line separately. I can do everything here. I don't. I don't need to do. The, that's the great thing about this program is I don't need to do, like, oh, I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying now. Never mind. Never mind. So, this one's gonna be the biggest. I want to make this actually a lot bigger. Could I? This is probably the biggest I can probably make it. Then everything below that will look a lot smaller in the sizing. Oh. So I guess my girlfriend pulled up the heat press. It's F2C, 15 by 15 black digital heat press transfer t-shirt sublimation, sublimation. <laughs> sublimation machine. This thing is huge. I have it mounted, or not mounted, I have it on top of a, thank you. I have it on top of a box. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, it's such, it's such a big thing. So I want to do... I feel like, cause like the top one has to be like a single letter. So I should probably, oh look, some advertisement. Let's see, boom, 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 boom. So I should make the top, what, I feel like I should put like a certain letter on top. So it'd be like A, should be like just a huge A. <laughs> like the hugest A in the world. Are you starting a business or selling stuff? What's the price look like? So pricing, not sure. Not sure yet. Pricing, not sure. Uh, you heat pressing that on a black and yellow John? I mean, I can. That's it. That's the thing. 
That's the I can't. That's that's the power of that I have. I'm literally gonna do like a cad, a <laughs> cad. What I think. Someone has an idea here. They what? said you could do I in the first line, A M in the second, and then style on the I third. I am style. Or I am cad. <laughs> I am cad. <laughs> so it's like one letter, then two letters, and three letters if you want to keep it really. Simple. Like an actual sentence. The yeah. thing is, I don't want like an actual sentence. I just want it to kind of represent a couple of things. So I don't know. That's kind of hard. So what am I doing? But I want it to be all caps. Why is it? Why won't it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> am I am I just gonna put a CAD T-shirt, <laughs> a CAD T-shirt? What the heck? So with the design, there's like a oh, there's two letters. So it goes, it literally goes one, two, three, four. I gotta like somehow mimic that. Ooh, that's actually pretty sick. I actually like how it's the way it's spaced. How it's spaced. That's actually pretty sick. I might want to try that. So let's let's kind of put this. I don't know. It looks. <laughs> it's just looking kind of. So I am CAD. I don't know. The long sleeve you were working on. So I already finished that long sleeve, and I posted a picture of it like a couple of days ago. Um, I'm already done with that. I'm just trying to figure out my next Johns. You know what I'm saying? Do CAD off top. And green line underneath and then the rest on the red line underneath wait then the rest and the red line underneath the numbers on the right you <laughs> that's it uh, i'll see should spell cad fully going down like kevin <laughs> you mean <laughs> yeah mean yeah what, what's the best way to print on clothes vinyl now it really depends on what you're trying to print. If you're trying to print a graphic, you go screen print. If you're going to do like something simple like this, like look at my t-shirt. Like if it's something like one color, vinyl is like the best, I would say the best material to work with. How old are you and where, where are you from? Would you be interested in partnering with someone? I'm, I'm currently 24, I'm, I'm from San Diego. And not right now, I'm just really designing my own brand right now, working on and focusing on that. So I'm not really, I did, I do see that red, that green though. This is so weird, interesting. Why is it? I think I need to switch the font to something else. Cause something with that little, like the dash at the dash at the bottom, but getting back to like, I know I kind of like jump around when I, when I talk about these different things. But just talking about like getting yourself started and get yourself motivated to design. I think that a lot of people, they like, oh, I'm a designer. I'm a designer. I'm a self-proclaimed designer. But I think that's, I think that's where people are making the mistake. You don't want to tell people you're a designer unless you have like a full line out. I think with me, I don't call myself a designer. I call myself a hobbyist right now. Like I don't, I don't. I don't do this full time, so I just can't, I just can't, I just can't, like, I can't self-proclaim myself. Once you separate the title from you actually doing it, it's good, it's good, it's, it speaks louder, in my opinion. I think it's a lot better that way. Don't tell anyone you're a designer, don't go, go, go on your Instagram bio right now, delete designer, <laughs> and just just design like be under the radar and then you're gonna knock people out once you uh, drop that that new collection why not use Photoshop uh, I I mean I would I have Photoshop but I don't want to use it just because like there's there's certain like thing I know with Photoshop there's so much you can do with it and it's just boom you know it's this huge space I want to challenge myself and not use Photoshop and stick to a program that goes straight to my Cricut, my cutting machine. So I don't have to do all the extra work. I know I can vectorize it and all that, but it's, it's a lot of work at the end of the day. And I just really want to make it simple for a live stream. 
people are gonna be like, wait, wait, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I've been watching your videos from from the first one. I I haven't bought a sewing machine because of your inspiration. Yo, that's crazy, DJ. Um, well, ha let let me know what you've made so far. Like, I'm kind of curious. Put an A on top and K space D, huh? Hmm. Oh, I want to see what that looks like actually. Like that? Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. But I need to make. Shoot. I need to make the spacing a lot better. So let's see. So this design is going to be kind of like a community effort in a way. Like, I'm just going to have you guys kind of design it. I don't know. Like, design it with me. I feel like the spacing needs to be a little bit lower. So is that starting to look? I, f I feel like the font needs to change. That's what I was trying to find. Like a better, like a font that's closer to the actual type. I don't know. Do you guys know any? Do you guys know fonts? I I kind of know fonts, but I don't know fonts like that. Let's see. I don't think there. I gotta like download the font. That's the thing. I gotta like get the right font. And I'm trying to stay so limited to the actual fonts that they have on my system, so I don't. Do all that extra stuff. <laughs> selling yourself short, you're definitely a designer. I mean, it's it's I feel like self-proclaimed like designer is like such a it's a, such a hard term to kind of run by. And I feel like when when you have a clothing line, I think that a clothing line clothing line that's successful, that's like the perfect time. I think that's like when you oh, 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 that's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. What is that? Lucius? I don't know what it was called. It was like Lu Lucia. There we go. Oh, that's it. That's, oh, I don't know. Wait, hold on. That A looking kind of particular. Can I see an A, what they use? I think the font doesn't really matter, but I really want it to like have that, that look. That look. I don't know. I don't see any A's. CAD. Huh? Is what you have on screen bold? No, it's regular. So. Try to make it bold. Yeah, let's. Let's see. I don't know if. Oh, I can't. I can't only do it like one by one. Okay, awesome. Bold italic. <laughs> like bold. Like bold italics. Like my favorite. Cause like, I love the look of Supreme's like simple box logo, but I don't want to like copy it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's just like a. How close are you to coming out with your brand? I'm I'm really far. It's not, it's it's just so much extra work that people don't understand, and I think I need to figure out the direction I want to go. You know, it's just really it's it's not easy. Hopefully, I want to get something out eventually. That's the thing. That's like if it, if I if I'm able to put out a T-shirt that everyone loves, that's it. That's it. That's the end of my brand. Good night. <laughs> I'm just playing. Just bold it. Okay, I understand. I'm trying to get into it. And would you be cool with helping me get started? Hey, man. I I mean, I I try my best, but a lot of a lot of it is like you gotta if you if you always go to others for learning, you're not gonna learn yourself. And that's there's like this designer that I met in LA like two years ago. I asked them like, Hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? And what that did, what that, what he told me was so solid. And it really, it, sh it, it made me shook. Like I was, I was like, dude, what? So this guy told me, he's like, Hey, if you keep fishing for answers, you're already doing it wrong. Like you're not a, you're, you're, you're not a business and you're not a business savvy person. You gotta think about fashion. You gotta think about a fashion clothing line or a streetwear clothing line as a business. Like if you're not savvy and you're not finding the answers by yourself, like it gets harder for you. And when he said that to me, I was like, "You right, you right." Because if I keep looking here, there, 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 I'm I'm not I'm not learning. Now you're learning from hearing them hearing it from them but you're not learning how to do it yourself and that's that's it that's like the, the one advice i can 
relay from another designer to me to you. That's it. Can I tag you on design in on Instagram credits to you? Yeah, definitely tag me. I'll definitely check it out. Try Lucida. Come, let's Lucida. Let's see this. Let me see that Lucida. Lucida. I don't think I have that Lucida. Yeah, I gotta like download it. I think it's the only one that I see. I don't think I have that Lucida on my system. I probably have it on my laptop, but I don't have it on this one. Try Rockwell font. I bought a sewing machine because of your insp oh, I bought a sewing machine because of your inspirational it's inspiration also. I think you should try to say I'm an inspiration. You're very welcome. You're doing good. You're going you doing good for yourself. Uh, try Rockwell font. Okay, let's see what Rockwell looks like. I've never seen Rockwell. Ooh, that's it. Yo, Khaled, you, you, that's it. That's it. That's, that's literally it. That's literally it. I'm pretty, that's pretty crazy. Yo, Khaled know what's up. Shout out to Khaled. That's my man. All right. Try Rockwell, okay. It's a lot of work. I always want to make my own brand. Yeah, making your own brand is not easy. And, like, I want people to, like, understand that. And that's why, like, a lot of a lot of the time you need to spend... A lot, of the, a lot of the time that you need to, like, spend on is just figuring out what you want to do for your brand. And people really just jump in, like, oh, man, I don't need to do all that. I just need to make a t-shirt design that's popping, slapped on onto your t-shirt, and then it's good. Like, it's not good. <laughs> it, there's a lot more thought that needs to go into it, and I think that a lot of people kind of forget about that, and they kind of just jump into it without thinking about a lot. Like, think about it a lot. It's hard to learn something on your own. Sometimes you need mentors, and Ken is one of them. I mean... I've I, I've done it all on my own mostly. I would say that majority of what I do now, I just I research, I learn. I mean, I don't ask questions. But again, people learn differently, so I guess I can't really speak for everyone. But yeah, <laughs> pick a, pick a clothing brand on something you're passionate in the market, and you and you understand is you understand is my advice yeah i think that's it that's mostly it i'm gonna do style now style now i'm gonna do s y e let's see what that'll look like because like my whole thing is right now or my whole thing right now is i'm trying to like establish what my like my clothing line is going to be I want it to be very minimalistic. I don't want it to be like extra. And I don't want it to look like all the different. Man, I'm just gonna put 50. <laughs> That's not even enough space. Jeez, I need to put like 50 up in here. Oh my oh gosh, my never God. mind. The 50, like 50, put it too far. Let's put 30. And I, I think I need to make this a little bit bigger. Oh, that's starting to look pretty sick. Yeah, it's like. I need to just make this bigger. Could I? Could I? Could I, could I, could I zoom out? <laughs> oh, there we go. This right here. I need to go up. No. Hello. There we go. I just got to push this. So, so K A. I want to make this actually bigger. <laughs> Obviously don't have it spaced out so much. Let's see. Let's space this at 15. Ooh, that looks way better. Ah, it needs to be a little bit. You think it looks needs to look bigger? I think it a needs to. A little bit. That's like that's bigger. That's too big. <laughs> I thought right. you were talking about the letter spacing. <laughs> no, 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 the letter spacing. I think the, I think the letter spacing. No, yeah, the letter spacing needs to be fixed. This is too wide. I think twelve point, twelve point five would look really, yeah. Oh, man. So this is kind of like a work in progress. I don't expect this to be like the final design or whatever. I'm probably going to add a lot more stuff. 
but I mean it's 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 a concept you guys gotta think about it like this like everything needs to come from somewhere especially if you want if you really believe in yourself like boom like look at this I'm about to put style so, somehow <laughs> <laughs> because I gotta put oh I got an idea I got a sick idea wait this is like really off center like this is not centered I need to center this oh, I can't center on the line that's stupid okay let's do that I feel like that's like offset for some reason Would you know how by ch by chance any good embroidery di digital light digital digitalizing? <laughs> I can't I can't say that word for digitizing. Digi digitizing. I think that's the correct. Digitizing software near your area. Uh, near my do you mean program like you can download onto your computer? I know there's a couple, but I mean if you just learn how to do Photoshop, I'm pretty sure it's not or Illustrator. If you learn how to do Illustrator and then learn how to make vector files, you don't need to pay for a program. Try to put style in the middle of the K. In the middle of the K and D. K and D. But a little smaller. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to duplicate. The thing is, I'm trying to duplicate this. And it looks like it is a little bit. Huh. How would that look? Oh, <laughs> nope. I'm not going to do that. I'm definitely not going to do that. I think they meant S-Y-E, like all of that is in between K and D, but on its own line where it already is, but just smaller. Just smaller? What do you mean, yeah. like this? Yeah, yeah. And no, 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 but keep it on, keep it on that line that it was on. So I think that's what they mean. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that's my, I, what I understood from what you said. I don't know. That's 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 what you can do with your design. I'm I'm just like, I don't know. Like it's it's you gotta like you you really think about this stuff and it looks weird at first because you're like, what the heck is going on? But that's why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do two zero and then T L. So I'm gonna do two like that, and then we do one eight. So it's like eighteen. So let me actually space that out. So what's the spacing gonna look like? Wait, what the heck? Oh, what am I doing? Why am I making this needs to be smaller? I get I get what you're saying now. Sorry. For some reason, I thought like I was doing this right, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> Or I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> half the time, I'm not gonna lie, half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So that's why you kind of learn from your experiences. So I'm just gonna try to make this lined up. Let's see. I'm like really focused through. Oh, whoops. I'm trying to make. You want me to throw some questions at you? Yeah, what is a couple of things? Why? Okay, um, Nick asks, do you make your own t-shirts? Which one is cheaper? Uh, I make my own t-shirts. I print my own t-shirts and now I like do the whole, I do the whole like manufacturing now. I don't manufacture for others because that's not my, my, my goal. I'm trying to, I'm trying to design for my own brand. So in the beginning, like I'll make samples for my own brand, send those samples to a factory, factory mass produces it, and then then that's when I can start making my or start in start my brand initially. The idea is the reason why it's so important to learn how to sew is because you can make your own samples. Try to take your sample to a sample maker and come out not negative. Cause it's expensive. I've I've actually spoke to a like a person that will create, like they will create your design and give you a sample, and it's not cheap. And they have the, sometimes they'll try to put their own royalties on there, so you're like you're losing money. Mm -hmm. You're like you're you're pretty much giving them part of your uh, your profit, even if you go big. Like it's just some legality to it. So I've got to put this 
I gotta put this wider. I gotta put this like at feet. What's that? I feel like. I feel like this needs to be lower. Mm -hmm. This needs to be, it's just kind of like weird there. I can see where you're going with it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm working on it, okay? It's not good. <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay, what's, I still see your style with custom cut stuffs. You done like the panel tees. They were sick, I've done some of the tutorials off you. Uh, I mean that was such that was such a it was a weird time because now I think paneling is coming back especially with button ups so I might actually do something with that like I'll get some thrifted stuff and like mash them together that would really sick I understand what you mean about asking for help for everything I don't want that I just want help like sharing ideas yeah I mean you gotta you can share ideas but then you want to keep the good ones close because like people will back the one thing i learned about the industry and it's 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 kind of like it sucks but what do you do people you you'll tell people your designs and you'll show people your designs like this design i don't care like this is just me having fun you guys can take this design you can slap this on a t-shirt for you know whatever you want to do but um there was, a, there was a time I had this design and I was talking to someone who had a brand and I was like, yo, check out my, my design. That was a good thing of like launching for my own like actual brand. He's like, oh, that's sick. And then he ends up doing it. So it's like, you gotta really, you gotta really, you gotta really just trust that uh, everyone is, has good intentions. And if you don't feel that good intent come in, you gotta be a little silent. <laughs> <laughs> I was not at sky high when you were two, when you were there two years ago, sky high. You were vlogging. You were vlog. Whoa, yo, that's crazy. That was two years ago. <laughs> I remember that. That's crazy. How you doing, man? <laughs> How about changing the font of 2018? I was thinking of doing that, but I feel like. Yeah, 2018 looks kind of weird. And also, Khaled suggests to make the T and L, or make the spacing a little wider for T and L. Yeah, I, I gotta like make it separate now, cause then I gotta switch this. So I gotta make T and L. I just gotta make T and L right now. So T and L, I need to make the spacing a lot bigger. Like, what is the spacing? That's twelve point five. This is. This needs to be like 9.5. See what that will look like. I gotta bring it down. I kinda like that, but yeah, I, I I definitely agree on that change of font for 2018. I don't, I don't know what type of font I would use though. I really wanna use something like, not Rockwell. Something different, something to kind of like differentiate the numbers so people will be like, oh shoot, that's sick. <laughs> Imagine how obnoxious. Wow. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. That'd be crazy. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Imagine, oh my gosh. What is going on? <laughs> Cartoonish. That's wild. Okay, while well, you're doing that, uh, Physique Clothing Limited says, with the heat press, you could buy a sublimation printer and custom print your own panels like the pocket tees on a poly cotton, poly cotton fabric. I mean, what sublimation, sublimation printer are you talking about? Because I think, I think the heat press was only like, like almost under $200. I know sublimation yeah. printers, they're, they're pricey. And the thing is with those is, I think the the ink itself like it, it's a lot more. Same with vinyl, but I mean with this it's not too bad. But in the end, you're probably gonna need both, so it's you get one or the other, because you're not gonna. The one thing that I've noticed, and this is something that I've actually discussed with a print shop that like manufactures for people in San Diego, is that they just can't have vinyl. 
They just can't have a vinyl heat press. They just can't have a sublimation uh, machine. They gotta have it all. They have embroidery, they have all of it. When you have all the different tools, people will go back to you for that reason. Yeah. The reason why certain brands stick around versus others that die off is that the, the fact that they evolve and they have all the factors that people are looking for. I think that's that's one thing to like have a as have as a have that's part of your brand. You can't you can't just do your simple slap 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 a design onto a t-shirt brand. You need to have you have to have more. Like you gotta have more like there needs to just be more and you gotta keep adding more to it. I don't know, it's just that's just how I feel. That's that's my opinion. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to look. Oh, no, that that look really weird. <laughs> if, I, if I put that random twenty, I think it's just because it's not wide. I think it needs to be. Is that font growing on you? I really like this font. I don't know. <laughs> like, I want to make a T-shirt with this font, but I have not found a design that really, really sticks with me. I think. Oh, well, this needs to be like the same. What is this? 9.5, so this needs to be 9. Point, this needs to be like 9. I don't know. I, I feel like it's growing on to me. I don't know. It's kind of like that offset that kind of makes it not a eye exam chart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just messing around right now. This is not a final thing or anything like that. So don't, don't try to get at me or anything like that. I'm really just messing around. I'm having fun with it. I'm, I'm smiling. That's how you know you. That's how you know you you loving what you're doing right now. Like I, I, I don't care. Like I don't. Man, do I, does it look like I? Guess? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just having fun with it. To be honest, yeah. I think it's like the biggest thing. If you're not having fun with designing, then I don't know, man. Yeah. Don't know what to tell you. Why is it not bringing it up to what I want it? Mm. This is huge. What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh shoot! I deleted it. Great. Hello? <laughs> Tab's channel says, what's next for your brand? What's next for my brand? I think, I think the ad is the, like, just the overall look. I think that's the hardest part about my brand is that I, I'm still figuring out the look and to, to figure out like what's your your brand wants like the way that your brand wants brand wants to look it's such a it's such a it's such a hard task i'm, I'm telling you right now the re wait why is this a so bold is oh it's bold <laughs> because you bolded it earlier <laughs> oh my gosh i'm done man man you bolded it earlier you said that's the one uh. that's the one uh. <laughs> did that to yourself <laughs> uh i really i really i really did that to myself I, i'm sorry i'm I, I mean okay i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's just me but like pocket tees it was it was a thing of the past now yeah i mean i have a tee like the last time i wore a pocket tee that was the last time i talked about it like it was <laughs> it was literally that long yeah. i'm not trying to downplay pocket tees okay pocket tees are dope i will wear a pocket tee if i make myself a pocket tee i'll wear it but for me to like to like produce pocket tees and like push it out as a product i'm not sure how how dominant that would be you know what i'm saying like i i feel like people right now they're really about i think the overall color i think color is 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 essential I feel like with this design, I'm not going to put this on a black t-shirt. I'm not going to put this on a white t-shirt. I'm going to get a crazy color like blue. I'm going to get a blue t-shirt or a long sleeve or something and like slap this onto it. <laughs> Polycotton fabric. What's next for your brand? Is airbrushing an option to adding t to adding your designs? Um, 
Airbrushing... Airbrushing is in a weird spot right now. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say, like, airbrushing is... Is... Is out. But I'm not saying it's in. <laughs> but you can make it in. And that's what I'm going to tell you. What? <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell you. No, I'm... I'm gonna tell you, like, if you wanna, if you wanna create a, a, if you think that it's popping, then make it popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's how it is. That's we have true. it all. I just joined, but what are the T and L supposed to be the same size as S Y? No, it's not supposed to be. So this needs to be spaced out more. <laughs> I think this needs to be spaced out a lot more. There. Actually, that spacing is too wide. I think 15 would be fine. I just don't want the spacing to be like... Oh, shoot. I keep doing that. Uh, how does the spacing on this look? Yeah, it's not that... Spacing on here is not that significant, in my opinion. This <laughs> I don't know what they did with this one. That, <laughs> that one's just like... It's an E doing a cartwheel. I'm... <laughs> Dude, this one's that you do in a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> this literally is one. Yo, that's actually dope. I I mean I don't like using the word dope, but that looks tight. <laughs> like I I mean I just downgrade. I went from dope to tight. Like that's something like your grandpa would say. Yeah. I mean not trying to downplay downplay grandpas. You know if your grandpa's saying tight, he's obviously doing something right. He's obviously doing something right. There's there's. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's I just joined, but what are the T and L supposed to be? Same yeah. size of style. So I'm trying to do. So this is it. So it's a. It's supposed to be CAD mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. It's trying to replicate an eye exam board, basically. And this is 2018 because I slapped that on everything. <laughs> the thing is, the one the one thing that I want to do, especially with my designs, is put the date. Will I essentially sell this design? No. It's going to remind me of when I created it. This has no actual like relation to my brand. If you guys really love this design, I'll sell it. But I mean, you guys watched me do it. So you guys could pretty much make it yourself too. Um, I think what you're doing with style... I see what you're doing with style, but I think you should do style... On the first line and the LE underneath. <laughs> For a second, I thought I spelled style wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to see what he's saying. So, see what you're doing. But I think you should do style on the first line and LE. ST. Oh, ST. STY on the first line and then LE. So it's kind of like you're reading it, like the way that you would normally read from left to right instead of it being staggered. The yeah, way that is that is true. So STE and then L, and then Y Y L. No. So on. STY. Yeah. So you just basically swap this. Oh shoot. And then swap this. Wait, no. No, he's saying STY is oh, that line. Yeah, and yeah. LE is the next line. I don't know. I just brain fart a lot, dude. <laughs> it's okay. It's Friday. It's Friday. Like, uh, L E. I don't know. It's like, still. <laughs> still. <li. Man>. Cut. <laughs> Uh, could you <laughs> still <laughs> 2018 <laughs> what do you think of Hawaiian prints trend for 2018 no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> sorry I don't know why that's so funny but the reason why is because right now it's all about like the like the color, like colors right now is like neutral colors. Actually, it's not even neutral colors. It's about loud colors and I don't know where we're at with fashion. It really depends <laughs> on the, the spectrum you're on. What type of, are you in streetwear? Are you in high fashion? Where are you at? Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me some more information. Make the font size for 18 a bit smaller. Huh, let me see. 
Should that be like... Yeah, it needs to be like 106. For some reason, I don't know. Oh, this is 106. Why is this? Shadow Syndicate. Why? <laughs> I don't know. She, he or she said it's a different type of eye exam. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. I think, I don't I know, think she, man. The, the person was saying the how you had it earlier with the style stacker. <laughs> it's a different type of eye exam. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like it's off. Like, is something off here? I feel like something's off. Like, maybe it's because the lines that's throwing me off? Maybe. It's a different type of eye exam. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All over print. All over print! Oh, man, it depends on what the print is, to be honest. I mean, 2018, I mean, from 2018, move TL, T, L up like half a distance. Like that? I feel like, yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. This needs to go a little bit higher. The thing is, I want, I really want 2008 to kind of pop. That's the reason why I decided to use a different font. Now, why does this one look, the spacing is the same, but this one looks, this, this looks a lot like the space, <laughs> am I just tripping? Um, what's up, shorty? <laughs> what's, up? <laughs> what's up, shorty? Welcome to the live stream. Started following on Bucket Hats upload. Yo, Bucket, yo, Bucket Hats, I've worn only one Bucket Hat, and that was it. Legitimately wore one time and that was it. That was the end of that story. Why? Move 2008 before, below LE. <laughs> Why? Why'd you stop wearing bucket hats? You know, it was actually a trend. It, like, wa it was a it, pretty popular one. It was a trend. But the thing is, with that trend, it was just like... It died so fast. Like, the moment that people bought the bucket hat, it was done. Yeah. Like, they got shipped to their house express shipping and then by the time they got to their house it's like yo where's where's my fisher fam at you know we try to go fishing invent a partner named drew <laughs> <laughs> so for the longest time there's this long term like this long joke on my channel where people people are like who is this drew and i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> because my name looks like my my whole like my user my youtube name is like it's like ken n and then drew daily but like ken Ant like uh, it, it gets it gets me kind of heated <laughs> since everyone thinks the name is ken andrew <laughs> that's funny i don't know i'm talking about the cart cartwheeling e that's a different type of exam oh oh Oh, <laughs> I finally got to your comment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Put a line between K and D. Like right here, like in between. Do I have lines? I don't know if I even have lines. Oh, Ooh. there's actually lines on this thing. What the heck? Wait. Um, hello? Why is this? Why is this dash? Could I make this not dash? Could I? What? <laughs> black i want this to be black so i can see it <laughs> what the? so i've never really made any shapes on this so let's let's mess around with shapes let's see they only got like five or else let's see that's that's 10 shapes <laughs> nine is that nine no Three, two four, four six, six eight, eight nine this is a shape well it's oh, not really a shape, shape. Oh, it's I not really a shape one. but it's like a it's a feature I'm all the way down here. I didn't see that. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Everybody made this. Wait, hold on. Can I make this deeper? Like, how do I cut? No. Can I make a bl Ooh, here we go. Did that do anything? That did nothing. That did nothing for my cause. That did nothing for my cause. What is going on, man? Oh, there we go. That's that's a lot. Let's. So if I make it a cut, can I make it bolder? No, I can't. This is so ridiculous. 
Uh, whatever. I might just go into Photoshop. <laughs> I might go into Photoshop a little bit later. I know I've been going on for suggestion. Don't use years unless they represent a born, the born on date. And I know, I know I've been going for a few years now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I got you. I, I got you. I got you. Maybe it looks different because of the white space to the right of the eight. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. This is really like I I I want to do more. Like I want to put something at the bottom, but I just don't know what. Cause usually, oh, I sh I, sh I should put January. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't know how I'm gonna put January. No, should I put the whole like word or? <laughs> I don't know if I want to put like the like January like the whole like sp spell out January. I don't know. People are saying the dash line is a score line. Yeah, the score line. I don't know. Is there an actual line that I can use? Like, what is, what is it, a square? What's... Someone suggested something about the square. Oh, Nick, you said use a square shape and narrow it. That is so smart. How could that's that's the type of thing I would do on Photoshop? Why didn't <laughs> I ever think about that? Oh wait, I need to do this thing. There you go. Ooh. Can't even get, like way thinner though. How do they do it on the actual board? So it's after the sixth line. I don't know what else to write. <laughs> it needs to be like this. It needs to like. I don't know, man. I gotta like. I gotta. I gotta. I'm. I'm gonna put this line down real quick, and now. No. <laughs> the manipulation. Thank you. It won't cut. It's the score line. Thanks for, I, I mean, I'm still learning the whole, like, thing, and I'm glad that I have you guys along here, because, like, honestly, I would just be, like, doing some, like, ghetto, <laughs> ghetto, like, ghetto-ish. Let's see. What are, what are, what are people, maybe if you just think her name is Rue, and so it's Ken and Rue. <laughs> I mean, there, I, I met someone's name is Rue, but it was, like, short for, like, Rue something I don't know. <laughs> Twenty and eighteen are lot are lost in the eye chart. I know you've been going edit. Use a square. Use a square. Dang, I love I love this because people can correct when I mess up. <laughs> it won't cut that as a score line. It's about upwards looking. How about an upwards looking V for the CAD? Um. I don't want to do that. It's like black scale. I don't want to go back to black scale days. <laughs> I'm also cricket. I use design space every day. Use a square and change the size. I tried that. I now I now I can use that to to make lines and stuff. That you know what? I actually tried to create a line last time and then I tried to cut it out. It didn't even cut out. K first. A D second line. Third line. STY and fourth line LE <laughs> LE 14 14 so it looks uniform and reads right yeah that's, that is true I should probably switch that huh let's see what it looks like with a K at top I just want to mess around with it so K here he said oh did I unlock that Hmm. This January is throwing me off. I gotta delete this real quick. So CAD style. That's actually pretty. I actually like that. What do you think? Yeah, but the K looks a little. Yeah, I, I gotta like. I gotta like center that real quick. Then I gotta center the T. <laughs> Wait, why does it look like? I don't know. Okay, Push I it up a little. Is that? I think it. Yeah. Do you think it's because it's like? I don't know. I think the K, I think the A like fits better. Cuz the K is just kind of bulky. <laughs> Man. I like the A at the top cuz it created a point. Yeah, I don't know. It's like if you look the K and I feel like resizing it and moving it around, I could find like a better spot for it. But like there's just so much on the right side of the K that's taking away from like the left side. 
The left yeah. side. But yeah. I get why people are suggesting that, so it lo- so you can actually read it. Yeah, but it's like right. it's like it looks dis like it looks weird. Yeah. I mean, if people are like, "Oh, just move the AD," then I gotta move this, and let's see, let's see if I can move. Just mess around here. I'm just gonna mess around. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like you can't do much though. I feel like the K is. I feel like the A. The reason why I had the A up there is because I know with A it's symmetrical, but with K it's not. So that's why it makes it really, really hard to have a K up top. And I was watching like a video of this guy explaining why it's so important <laughs> to have like a symmetrical shape up top. It was like whole, vi- it was like a, I remember I s- wasted like seven minutes of this guy talking about why symmetry, <laughs> symmetry is so important to have on top of a design. And I'm just like, why? And now I see, I physically see it. Yeah. I physically see it. I agree. Physique clothing is established January, 2018. Um, I'll probably put established at the bottom. I don't know. Established January. I think adding the year dates. Adding the year dates your line, but put a date if that's a memorable year or a, mem- or a year that sounds good. Like Gap 1969. <laughs> the 20 the 20 LE makes it read as soul. Oh, it does read as soul. Kind of like your Scads t-shirt that you're sc- wearing right Scads. now. Scads. <laughs> People, okay, it's funny thing about this t-shirt is people think it says SCADS when it clearly says CAD and they're just, I'm just know. hating. <laughs> Learning typography, yeah, it's it's not easy. Design, this, design five letters for the fifth line. I'm trying to figure, figure out what I want to put. I want to put like Jan, I don't know, I'm just, Jan S D, <laughs> Jan of San Diego. <laughs> what about a stitch pattern across the bottom? No, I feel like that would throw it off. I feel like the 2018 is throwing it off, but I'm keeping it because I have to make that a uh, really like pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The K at the top looks good. K is a solid look. I don't know. Like the K is like, it just. <sighs> I gotta play around with it. It just like, it's just, uh, it just it makes me feel weird. <laughs> what made you start designing and making clothing? I wanted to make clothing that fit me well and actually like that I wanted like uh, envision fashion. I think like, okay, I'm I'm kind of at my time limit, but I'm gonna answer like the last the last like. <laughs> The last couple of questions here and then i guess we'll finish the design next time on the live stream next next week i'm going to try to finish the design and then we're going to be going on to the cricket and then i'm going to be doing all that but i'm just going to answer some last minute questions uh what made you start designing again i just want to make clothes that i love personally when you go to people like oh what's that brand and you'd be like it's my brand and then you know they're like oh dang and then you'd be like all right and then you walk away a fits into the pyramid peak. See, that's what I'm saying. A at the top. <laughs> Everyone's saying A at the top. I like the K at the top, but I see the A at the top looks good unless you move the A and D. Yeah, well, the A and D, like, I can try to center it as much as possible, but as you can see, it's just not symmetrical. The K is just, it throws it off. New subscriber, you dope. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Try Jan 2018, but Jan in lower lowercase letters huh what would that look like let me just try that real quick jan wait jan i feel like just jan but let's see let's go back to what was what was it called what oh, th- that other font rockwell oh rockwell there we go <laughs> see this is why i need this is why i need this is why i can't do this by myself <laughs> I definitely. You just spelled Rockwell. Oh, I okay. literally just spelled Rockwell. I didn't, even, I didn't even. This is how you know this is the end of the live stream, man. Uh, Shoutouts to Listrange. Why? He says put D at the top. Drew needs more recognition. 
I'm so done. This, <laughs> this is why I love you guys, man. This is why this this is why the cat fam is strong, man. This is not like that, like like and subscribe type family. This is the this is where we can sit down and just laugh. <laughs> this is that type of family. We just we just straight up kick. Why did I? Oh, <laughs> why am I widening out Rockwell? Why do you keep spelling Rockwell? I don't know. What are you trying to put? January? Should I just put Rockwell at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> I might as well at this point. <laughs> oh, January. Is it you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Could I spell? Oh my gosh. What's going on, man? It's okay. You want water? I need some. I need some water. <laughs> put D. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's change. I need to like that. That comment needs to just be like on my wall now. <laughs> get rid, get get rid of the twenty, and think of a five-letter word for line five. Hmm. Get rid of twenty. Line five. That's line. I think he's talking about line four. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me just make January obnoxious. <laughs> Let me just make it obnoxious. <laughs> Let me just. You know what? <laughs> when you just quit. <laughs> when you're just. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Where did. Okay. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this up. This looks like a. This looks like an advent. Advent calendar or whatever it's advent called. Advent calendar? Advent calendar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this looks so weird right now. I definitely need to fix this. Guys, I'm pretty much trolling with this January. Don't take it seriously. I'm I'm just like figuring it out as I go. Where's the cap for this? <laughs> you have uh, it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um the hemline. Who's Drew? Yo. <laughs> who's you know what? You know what? This is this is this is this is gonna be tribute Who's... to Drew. <laughs> tribute to Drew. Who 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 Drew? <laughs> that's 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 gonna be. There we go. That's that. I'm printing. I'm printing this on a T-shirt right now. I think that should just be your uh your clothing line. Who's that, Drew? <laughs> you know what? I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I think that would be a cool like clothing line. It would be like, who is Drew? And it'll just be a long, long, long joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking with this design, guys. It's not finalized or anything. I just like messing with stuff. And that's the fun of designing. And I want you guys to realize the reason why you don't need money to design is because you literally do it like this. I was just literally sitting in my room designing for for about an hour, chilling with you guys. All of this was just free, so that's it. <laughs> what if you did the K at the top but rotate it 90 degrees? Hold on. Whoa. Negative 90 degrees. Let's 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 take that suggestion real quick and then I gotta kinda end the live stream. <laughs> hmm. That looks. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like an M. <laughs> it looks like an M uh, on top. It looks like a person like doing a like crunch on a bed. What the heck? That's what it looks. I'm not. I'm not trying to play right now. That looks. Wait, what it looks. You trying to work out right now? I'm what? trying to. I'm trying to. I'm. That's look. That looks like one of those benches <laughs> you you work out on. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. I know putting all the joking aside, I had absolutely. The best time tonight and you guys are the are the reason so i just want to say thank you guys um it, it was just, you guys are a blessing a blessing in design and uh, you guys are blessing every single time i live stream so i just want to say thank you everybody thank you for uh coming through on this interesting live stream where i designed and <laughs> Knock off, knock off line, Drew Rockwell. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, thanks for watching, guys. This live stream will be on the YouTube channel. Make sure to uh, visit me or come by next Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Chill, kick it with me, design with me if you want to. Sew with me next time. I don't know what we're trying to do next time. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll 
Catch you guys in the next live stream. It's been real. It's been real. It's been real. All right. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Ken Andrew Daily. I, I try to post. I always say this every live stream, but I never post. But you know what? You know what I'm about to post. I'm about to if it's not a, if it's not a post, it's an Instagram story. All right. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. Um, stay safe. Um, yeah. <laughs> Every Friday, 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. All right. See you guys later. Peace.